This is a brief tutorial regarding the first product's walk-behind seat evader, model WA24. It covers the machine's controls, operation, and seat calibration. The controls for the seat evader are located at the rear of the machine. They all consist of four levers, one on each handlebar, one in between the handlebars, and one on the right side. The left handlebar lever engages the tires to propel the machine forward. The right handlebar lever operates the vibrating tines and opens the drop seater simultaneously. The lever between the handlebars lowers the tines to the ground and lifts the machine for transportation. The lever on the right side of the machine disengages the belt assist for the rear axle. After cranking the engine to full throttle, the machine is ready to operate. The left lever is used to propel the machine forward to the work zone. The seat evader can be moved manually by simply tilting its weight on the rear axle and pushing forward. Special one-way bearings allow the rear axle to help drive the machine, but if the machine needs to be back down a trailer, disengaging the belt assist frees up the rear axle for easy maneuverability. Once the seat evader is set to operate, Lowering the center lever allows the natural weight of the machine to thrust its tines into the ground. Squeezing the right lever engages the vibrating tines and opens the seed hopper, while squeezing the left lever will command all four wheels to drive forward. Once the path has been completed and the controls are released, lifting the center handlebar lifts the tines out of the ground and allows the operator to maneuver the machine as desired to make the next pass. At the end of the day, be sure to grease the three joints labeled on the axles. Keep in mind these bearings are constantly turning and need to be maintained every eight hours or so. To calibrate the seater, the operator will need to mark off a 25 foot long path at the work site. In addition to this, a scale will be needed to weigh the seed. First, remove the calibration tray from the top of the seat evader and position it at the front as shown. Here we lift the machine up so its back is clearly shown as to how the tray is attached, hooking the left side first to avoid the sprocket guard on the front axle. With the tray ready to catch the seed, position the calibration slide to the predetermined position by loosening the thumb screw and moving the slide. Once set, Tighten the thumb screw. With the machine positioned, operate the seat evader for 25 feet. Now the tray can be removed and seed weighed. Since the machine is 2 feet wide and the path is 25 feet long, multiplying the weight by 20 will give you the pounds per thousand square feet. The rate is controlled by the position of the slide on the seater. If the rate needs to be decreased, pull the slide out to the smaller numbers. If the rate needs to increase, push the slide inward to the larger numbers and re-tighten when set. Simply repeat the process until desired rate is reached. 